Okay, I'm Janice Gunner and this is my quilt pathway to recovery. Well, it was inspired by a recent critical illness that I had. Um, in my recovery, I was sitting at home playing on my iPad uh, with some of my images. And this, this particular image started out as a pathway in a park in Japan on one of my visit, many visits to Japan. And on top of that, I've superimposed pictures of my family, those that visited me whilst I was in hospital, my sons, my sisters, my brother, um, my husband and people like that. Um, and then using my pencil, I've scrubbed out bits and then I pixelated the picture. Um, and those three, those three processes were done in one app called Pixlr. And then I took the, the final um, image, having pixelated it as well, took it into another program called Ima Engine. Where, which is a vector program and which has given the sort of the black lines and the the markings in it that look a bit like um, pen, pen marks and things like that. It's, so basically it's a whole cloth quilt. It was, it was then uploaded to um, a company that digitally prints fabric. So it's a piece of fabric that's been printed from my image. And then I've free machine quilted it with vermicelli quilting in the central area. Which, which is meant to represent the, the folds in the brain um, when you look at a picture, of a, a picture of, a bra of the brain and then I've filled in the outside edges in my signature sort of bubble. Oh yes, definitely, yeah. In fact, I made these quilts before I fell over and broke my... I, I, I entered the quilts for the show before I f fell over and broke my um, arm. So I've actually quilted them on my Q20, my Benina Q20, with one hand, <laughs> left hand like this and right hand with the cast on, sort of steadying it. Um, and, and yeah, it is a, it's, a great, it's a great buzz, even, even if they don't win prizes, it's the fact that, I've, that you put a quilt into the show, because without the quilts, there wouldn't be a quilt show. Um, my own quilt journey started many years ago, back in the 1970s. Um, I've always made my own clothes, not anymore, <laughs> um, but, but when I was younger I made my own clothes and I was, had all these leftover bits of fabric from the dressmaking that I couldn't bear throwing away and ended up making quilts and found that I enjoyed making quilts just as much as I enjoyed making clothes, so that's kind of where it's all, all sprung from. And then in 1988, um, I was asked to start teaching an adult education, um, and I've been teaching an adult teaching adults ever since. I don't teach for local education authorities anymore. Um, I teach a lot of my own classes and through my city and guilds micro centre. And earlier this year, in recognition of my city and guilds teaching, I was awarded a medal for excellence by city and guilds. Yes, in fact, there are a lot of quilts in, the sh in this show that have been made by former students, former and current students of mine, actually. And it's lovely to see them having the, um, the experience of entering a quilt in a quilt show themselves. It's all part of, of, of the City and Guilds course, in a way, um, because that's what they're aiming for. They're aiming for, to make quilts of a standard that can be entered into shows. Uh, I think it's very important. The Quilters Guild of the British Isles is an educational charity and, and they're there to promote patchwork and quilting and they do a great job. Um, a bit biased in a way I suppose because I am a former president of the Quilters Guild. <laughs> um, but I've also, also worked on various committees as well um, and I got in, into it as, as an exhibitions officer actually and was involved with the very first festival of quilts where I was known as Archangel because I was in charge of all the quilting angels. <laughs> oh, I use a banana, of course. Oh, I love my bananas. Um, I've got, well, I've got, actually got four bananas. <laughs> this is awful, isn't it? I've got a 170, which, I've, which my husband bought me as a present and I can't part with because it's got sentimental value. Um, I've got two 630s. One I use in my studio and one that I keep at home, so that if I want to sew at home I can. And I've got a Q20 which I use for my free machine quilting, which is what this quilt was quilted on.